we made out. This one asks, how do you get over losing friendship? Would you recommend a rebound after a breakup? It's like, how was my first kiss? I don't think I asked. Hey y'all, it's me, Mad Madison, and we're back with the next video. We're gonna be redoing a girl's TMI video. We're really gonna get juicy in here. Let's get straight into this video. If your best friend date your ex, is it okay to cut her off? Yes. <laughs> Literally, yes. Like, me personally, I take my best friends very serious. Maybe y'all don't out there, but I feel like titles is something that people throw out there very loosely. And ever since I was young, I was always a person like, no, like, I'm not gonna, like, call somebody my best friend until I know I'm locked in. Like, when I call somebody my best friend, we're gonna be best friends forever. Like, I don't really, like, the best friend I have now with my best friend since back then, and we're still best friends. Like, I really don't. I take that stuff to the heart. Like, that means I care about you, like, to the T. So, if your best friend said they were, like, dating your ex, like, if my best friend told me they were dating my ex, that's not my best friend no more. Because I would never mess with the, anybody that my best friend is messing with. Because, like, there's too many people out there. There's a billion people out there in the world. And you're telling me my little, yeah, my little situation. And this go with friends, too. My little situation, now you're trying to be with that person. Like, no, because that's giving you wanting us to break up just so you could talk to my little, yeah. You're not going to be my friend no more because you're being sneaky and a snake. And now, every time I get somebody, I got to think about, oh, well, my friend or my best friend will mess with them no get out of here so no if your best friend really did that to you you need to cut that person off because that's a snake like that's good like there's a girl code you just don't mess with the girl code mm -mm. so yeah i don't play that but comment down below what y'all think about all these topics you're talking about and what's your point of view because we could all have different point of views so the next one i have would you recommend a rebound after a breakup? Girls TMI. So this is TMI a little bit for me, but I'm gonna be very open and honest. I do, I don't mind like a rebound after a breakup. Like if you're gonna help you get over it or if it's just gonna make you feel better, do whatever makes you feel better. People always say, you need to heal this way, you need to heal this way, you don't do this, don't do that. Like, you don't know how my brain works. You don't know how I'm feeling, why I need to, or I want to do it like that. So if y'all want to get a rebound to get over a breakup, do it. Now, if it, if you do one and if it doesn't feel better, maybe don't keep rebounding with a whole bunch of different people. Because, like, you know. But honestly, like, try one time. If you don't work, try something else. But if you like doing that after a breakup to make you feel better, who am I to tell you not to do that? Like, you're your own person. You're your own body. So if you like it, then keep doing it. Don't let nobody tell you to do anything different. Because I hate somebody that would be like, what about you try coping in this way? What about you try doing it like this? Like, I didn't know you were my mother. I didn't know you turned into my mother. I didn't know you're my dad. I didn't know you raised me. I, I didn't know that I had to listen to everything you say. Like, and it's okay to give advice, but sometimes people that not even consider my friends be trying to give me advice to cope or do different things. And that's a ju that's just an ick for me. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's just like, don't, did I ask for your opinion? Did I ask you to give me a advice? Or maybe I shouldn't do it like this. I don't think I asked. Would I recommend it? Personally, me, yes, I did it before. And I would do it again. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. It just matters the vibe. But like, I wouldn't say no or yes. Do what you want. And that's on period. <laughs> Let's go on to the next topic, y'all. Let's go on to the This one asks, how do you get over losing friendships? This is a good one, y'all. Honestly, y'all know I'm 21. And I really like... I'm mature. Well, now I'm, I feel like I'm more maturing. Like, a couple months ago, I wasn't that mature. And not saying I'm really there because I'm really not there. But how I got with losing friends, like, me personally, I lost a lot of friends that I consider as friends in my life. I lost. 
and how did i get through it i was sad but it's just like people are meant to be in your life for a reason so if your friends that you have now if it's a small circle if it's hella friends whatever you have going into your 30s 40s not saying i'm that old but you know what i'm saying when you still you can consider as a friend and not switching up or being weird you should keep them like you don't think about the people that you're losing think about the people that you're gaining and think about the people that are still being real because you should rather want to have real genuine people that love you and care about you friends wise than just having a whole bunch of friends and we're just doing it because this was a friend group and we always been friends but you're being fake and being a snake and doing stuff behind my back or you talk about how like, i want to keep people that's actually there for me so if you're losing friendships let them be lost now if you're losing friendship because you're in your soul or in your body doing something that's not really friend worthy too then you just need to go take like a mental mental break regroup come together and like analyze and understand maybe you are doing some things wrong why you're losing all your friends too and maybe you need to learn how to mature a little bit and grow so that's really all it is because all my friends i lost i don't think i never had no bad friendship that we were on social media going back and forth or it's like a big big like falling out for for over no snake stuff so like me personally the reason why me and my friends really stopped being friends is because we just stopped talking for real the friendships that i lost or like maybe they unfollow me off of social media out of nowhere but like people like that i really don't care about because if you unfollow me if you don't want like i'm not pressing nobody to be my friend or be cool with me y'all have whatever you feel you feel so like i never had nothing too messy but like at the end of the day losing a friendship if it comes back it comes back but if it don't it meant to be gone and that's how i'm starting to think of life so it's hard i know because i still struggle with that like people that i would consider as a friend or people who did me wrong i'm like wow like just can't believe it happened but it's just like you have to move on and the little friends i do have they're we're locked in and there ain't no switching up over here so yeah that's my advice with that let's do the next topic y'all next topic first kiss how was my first kiss so my first kiss was actually pretty good it was straightforward did i like it no no i did not like my first kiss like i thought it was gonna be like wow so eye-opening but i didn't like it um so the story was my dad used to always drop me off at the YMCA for basketball because, you know, I'm a basketball player and I used to have to practice like 24-7, like literally all the time. So I'm at the YMCA. My dad's not there. So there was this guy. He was in high school and I was only like in sixth or seventh grade. He was like a sophomore in high school. <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> I know, I know. But he played basketball and... He used to always hoop with his little friends at their own um, YMCA. So I think we used to text or whatever. And we were at the place at the same time. My dad wasn't there. So I didn't have to really work, work out too hard. So I was like, oh my gosh, I'm just sitting here, you know, in my basketball clothes looking cute or whatever. And like my little crush over there. And he, like we were going back and forth. So we both had crushes on each other. So, well, so I thought. So boom, he comes out. We go in the hallway. I think we're talking. First, it was like this one, it's like a wall right here, and he sat down on the floor with his back against the wall, and I just like went on top of him, and I was saying, I was sitting on him like, this is his face, and this is me, and I'm sitting on his lap like that. And I don't know if we kissed, but I think we are just hugging. I don't think we are kissing or nothing like that. We were just hugging or like sitting and talking and vibing. I don't know why we did that, but that's what we did. And then when we got up or whatever, and he was going to go back in there to play like basketball, like, he grabbed me <gasps> the face and we made out we were kissing like he was making out he put his tongue who he, <laughs> he put his tongue all in my mouth he was really going in going crazy and i was just like it's my first kiss so i just was going with it like it's not like i didn't stop and then by the time he left I didn't say nothing. I was just like, I was like, I had like so much saliva in my mouth. So I was like, 
like my face like i faked it real good i was like acting like i was happy but as soon as she left like as soon as she went to that um basketball court and left me i went to that trash can and i was spitting in there i was spitting because like it just so much saliva like it was just so disgusting it was just like too much and i just was like maybe i'm not a kisser ever since that day honestly i'm not really a kisser like that and i don't know just because in my brain i'm thinking about that much saliva and how disgusting and like how disgusting i felt and it's like still mess with me like don't don't get it wrong i do like pecs and i do kiss and stuff but like make out make out with a tongue and like getting slappy nasty i really don't do that Maybe I just need mature and try it again, but I like pecs. I like, I could kiss like, but like, I don't know, like tongues and shit, tongue involved. I don't know. I don't like, I don't do it. I don't like it, but that's the first time of me having my first kiss. <laughs> Next topic is what is your views on gossiping? Is it bad or is it good? Oh, um, that's a good one. I'm going to be honest. I want to be honest with all my viewers, all my supporters. I don't want to just come off as a girl like, oh, you act like this way on social media, but you're really like this. So I'm going to be honest. My views on gossiping, is it bad? Yes. But, I mean, I'm a girl for the plot. I can't lie to y'all. I'm a girl for the plot. I'm kind of changing. I'm kind of going into my softer girl lifestyle a little bit, but I'm still, you know, in my for the plot era too. But, like, I feel like gossiping is not good when you're just spreading lies. Like, if it's, like, not real tea, why are you gossiping for? Like, this is, like, middle school. This is high school. Not even high school. That's really middle school, elementary stuff. Like, you're over here spreading rumors, spreading lies, and it's not true. Because people were gossiping on me, like, in my little high school I went to. And that's the tea and half of the stuff was lies but it's like i didn't really have friends well that's a whole nother story if y'all want story times or stuff about that y'all just gonna have to let me know but yeah like the only gossiping i ever do now and it's not even real gossip but it's just like something real happened like am i messy a little bit but just like i don't gossip unless it's the truth but it's like i only do it like i'm not even gonna put all my business out there because this is like some tea for real and i'm not doing too much tea on here i know this is a tmi but i don't know who else i got watching my channel still so that's why we gotta keep it cute but yeah back to what i was saying like gossiping it's not good if you're doing false information. But if it's real information, but if you're just doing it to, like, your friends, go ahead. I feel like everybody in the world gossip to their friends. I do, but I only do it with people in my friend group. And that's why I feel like I'm different from a lot of other people. Because, like, I feel like some people gossip with people, like, you don't like, you don't mess with, da -da -da, and do, like, really messy gossip stuff like that. Which I don't really do. Like, unless I really, really, really don't like you. But if I'm just, like, neutral with that person, you're not going to see me on my way to just try to be messy and start all this gossiping and always talk about that person. Because, first of all, you're not my brain. I don't really like you. You're not my friend. It's just nothing to really gossip about. But if, like, it's somebody I really don't mess with, then, yeah, I'm going to gossip with my friends. Because it's, like... But it's not, like, to the point where I'm going around the whole school with people that I don't even like or, like, people that are not even my friend for real saying, like, did you hear about what happened with her? Did you hear what happened? Like, I heard da 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 da, -da. That guy, so I don't do. Because that's a little bit too messy for me. That's not, that's a little bit too, 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 too messy. Because I don't care about people like that. You know what I'm trying to say? I hope I'm really making sense how my brain works, y'all. Because I don't go and gossip... But really, I don't really gossip, gossip like that anyway. It's like that kind of gossip, I don't do. I don't, I think that's like not even cute for real. But like, you just talk about doing your little girl times with people that you really don't like and doing with your friends or whatever. That's cool or whatever. But I feel like if you do gossip, real stuff, and the person confronts you and you have been talking about that person, you should be able to stand tense down. You should be able to just say what you said. Don't be trying to say, oh, I'm gossiping, I'm messy, I'm this and that. But you hate to do one-on-ones, you hate confrontation, you hate to talk. 
talk it out or talk to people because like the why are you even gossiping you're not a real gossiper you just like to talk stuff behind people back you like to be fake and that's not even cute like if you're gonna be able to gossip like what's her name e kane it's biggie kane like if you her she i don't even call it gossip but you know the stuff that she does she's very vocal and she says what she says and she stands on business like that's how i am if i say something to my friend and if it gets back to that person, like, it's okay. Like, I'm going to be able to be like, yeah, like, I did say it, like, type of thing. Well, I, like, now I'd probably be cool with that friend because, like, why are you over here, you know? But it's just, like, you know what I'm saying, y'all? You should be able to just talk about it. Because every time I'm mad at somebody and I do my little one-two, I tell them what I said. I tell them how I feel because I'm just blunt like that, though. And maybe that's a problem where some people don't want to be my friend. Cause I'm a little blunt, but I hope that made sense for this for this topic. Next one is the next topic is y'all. Why are girl friendships so complicated more than boys? This is low key kind of good, but I can't really go too much in depth in my experience because y'all, I don't have a lot of guy friends because I don't know guys scare me. I can't lie, but I feel like honestly, why girls relationships are just so much toxic problems because like girls are just wired different than guys and that's just period like girls get more emotional with certain things girls are more now i'm gonna say more messier but i just feel like with guys like you can't really make guys upset like guys got like oh you want to hear her too type of thing that's how guys think but then on the other hand with girls they think no you're not supposed to my like my person i'm dealing with my sneaky link like girls are just like no guys are like i'll pass it to the bro so that's why i feel like they're most of the problems and most of the problems be with girls friendships because girls got girls codes guys got they got guy codes but i don't really know what they are because i don't really have a lot of guys in my life but i just feel like guys are just more not mature as girls in some aspects of that and that's why you see it's hard to have girlfriends because like i like a guy it's hard to be their friend you know what i'm saying like that's like a better way to put it. like when a girl acts more like a guy in certain aspects it's hard to be their friend because it's just like you're thinking like a bro saying oh it doesn't matter like we're friends but like that was just a sneaky thing that i should be able to you know and it's just like no guys probably think like that but no like you you're a girl like you just you're supposed to be my friend like girl because like if i'm being vulnerable with you if i'm talking about the most deep deeper darkest secrets and you're going to mess with a, my little yeah like no like we said earlier or just like girls are also messy like they like to do things and guys probably do too nowadays because guys are getting sassy or two but a lot of girls like to be like Oh, whatever the trend is, I'm just gonna go with it. Like, oh, since I'm around these certain people right now and nobody likes you, now I gotta flip and switch up and now I, I gotta not really mess with you for real and start acting weird or moving weird. That's how a lot of girls act too. Which I don't know why, because me, honestly, like, people don't like my friend. This is my friend. I don't care if y'all don't like her. Like, I like my friend. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't pick and choose. Now, if you do something to me, why I don't mess with you and then my friend don't mess with you? That happens, but you won't see me like being friends with somebody else. And then they'd be like, well, I don't like this person that you be hanging around with. And I'd be like, okay, let me like cut that person off. Because no, I will only cut somebody off if I have a real like beef with that person. Not even beef, but if I really feel some type of way, then I'm cutting that person off. Nobody can really change my mind, my mindset on like who to be friends with, who to cut off, who's bad for my life because no and i feel like that's why a lot of girls fall out because of all that little messy stuff you know that's why it's like it's hard to have friendships with girls because girls are just messy period and i know that because i'm a girl and i saying all girls are messy but a lot of girls out there are messy and i am i do have messy tendencies but y'all didn't ask nothing about my messy tendencies. So next time, if I do a part two, comment down below right now if you don't want a part two. But if I do, then y'all could just, like, ask that question. And if y'all want to be able to ask me questions for these kind of videos, make sure you follow me on Instagram 
or follow me on Snapchat because I ask y'all all the time what kind of questions you want me to ask for these kind of videos. So y'all can ask on there. So you gotta make sure you be keeping up with all my stuff. But yeah, that's why it's more complicated to have friends with girls because like I just feel like girls are just more not more complex but like it's just more into it like with girls like we get we're just more we show our emotions more so you just know how to like you know guys i feel like hold it in too so you're not gonna see a guy come and yell at you like why you didn't like like my thing on instagram like you're being fake you're being weird at least i don't know i, I need more guy friends but back in the day with guys i was around it wasn't like why you like like, why are you over here liking my picture? I mean, not liking my picture. Like, you won't really see guys these back back in the day would say something like that. But now you would see a girl like, why you didn't like my picture and comment, but you comment you comment on my op picture, stuff like that, stuff like that. Like, girls are just more like I don't know, but I'm like that too. So I can't ever say like that's bad to be a girl, but like girls are just more like I don't know, express their feelings and are more not sensitive, but like you know yeah type of thing i hope y'all get where i'm coming from and don't think i'm like slandering girls because it's not like that because i have a lot of the same tendencies too but like the stuff that us females have then guys have you really don't see you see a little bit more nowadays because like if you're messing with the influencer guy maybe they will be a little like kind of funny like that but i don't ever hang around people like that so no that's not my kind of guys i like to be around but <laughs> just what it is I want to give a big shout out to this week's video to Maya Flores. Here, I'm going to put up the username. But thank you for being a great supporter. So here you go. And thank you for being supportive with the Maddie Baddies. And I appreciate you a lot. So yeah, if y'all really love this TMI girl talk that I did today, make sure you comment down below, share and like. And if you have any other YouTube YouTube videos, ideas you want to see, if you want to see a part two of this, or if you want to see any other content, challenges, pranks, follow me on my socials, my Snapchat, my Instagram, so we can run it up. I love all my Maddie baddies out there, period. And we should be posting on Sunday at 3 p.m. So make sure we all tune in for that. And I go live every day. So make sure you always like hit the post notifications on the bell. So you know when I'm going live. Because I go live every day. See y'all next time. Bye.